Hi, I'm Tazam Ropley, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a triple action hydrating lotion without the use of actives. So we've got our humectant, so this adds suppleness to the skin. It also protects the skin from trans epidermal water loss. We've got a little bit of plant oil in here, which they also sit on the surface of the skin to prevent moisture loss. We've also got our squalane um, and also our Dermafil scent solve. So a nice good balance there of long, medium and heavy skin feel. And then our other hydrating factor is both of our emulsifiers that have proven efficacy for moisture and hydration. Now let me show you how to put it together. Okay, to kickstart my lotion here, I have my water phase. And to this, I'm gonna be adding a natural gum and some humectant. Now, natural gums do need slurry method um, to better hydrate them before putting them in water. So I'm gonna go in with the uh, Satya Gum VPC 430 by Cargill. Now, this is actually a sensory thickener um, and it's also made from red seaweed. So it's readily biodegradable. Um, it can improve the glide of emulsions as a natural alternative to, to a silicon. It's also 100% natural derived. It's Cosmos approved, halal, kosher, and also vegan friendly. So this one's made from um, carrageenan. Now to slow I'm gonna be using a humectant here. This is some propane DL. Now propane DL is a moisturizer. It's a humectant. It also protects the skin from trans epidermal water loss. So it's gonna keep that moisture and hydration in the skin. So that's a uh, one point there for hydration. So we're just gonna make a nice smooth slurry before we add that into our water to avoid what we call fish eyes, which is very big clumps of um, gel that hasn't been properly hydrated. And we're just gonna give that one a stir. It will tend to get a bit thicker when it um, goes on heat. So it is thickening up now, but it will go a lot thicker and hydrate a bit better when it goes on heat. Okay, and we're just gonna pop that one on heat. And while that's heating, we're gonna to put together our oil phase. So in my bowl here, I have some Dermafil Sensolve by uh, Evanix. This is a nice, light, long spreading ester. To this, I'm gonna be adding some olive derived squalane. Again, this is really good for anti-aging, really good for dry skin. And I'm also just adding a small input of some camellia tea oil as well. So we've got a good balance there of light, medium, and heavy skin feel lipids. You do want a majority of that to be long spreading because it is a lotion. So lotion is more longer spreading because it has a larger volume of skin to cover. Now, I just wanna talk you through my special emulsifiers here. So my first one here is the olive oil glutamate emulsifier, GPF. This is from CaliCam. And my second one here is the olive oil avenate emulsifier. This is also by CaliCam. Now, I have a non-ionic and an, an, an ionic emulsifier here. Obviously, you can see they're both waxy, so they're gonna build structure and viscosity into our lotion. So I'm gonna put them in there. Now, these are really special emulsifiers here. They do have more than just a viscosity and stability benefit here. So the um, olive oil avenate emulsifier is patent technology. It's also peg and sulfate free. It's from vegetable origin. And it also has some data here for some skin barrier restoring and also some hydration. So there was a trans epidermal water loss test done and it was shown when included in rinse off systems, it is able to keep the skin barrier integrity even in presence of massive um, SLES used. And you can also see here from the second graph, it also has um, hydration, replumping, and anti-wrinkle and firmness benefits. The base emulsion with OA were proven to promote anti-aging perceived efficacy compared to emulsions loaded with Botox and lifting actives. So a really good one to use there. And the olive oil glutamate is also another patent uh, technology. It's also vegetable derived. That's our anionic emulsifier. This is 100% palm and kernel palm oil and preservatives free. It also is made with protection of endangered species, ecosystems, and deforestation prevention, which is really good. This one also has um, skin barrier restoring for a time prolonged skin moisturization. It also has silicon-like texture and an emollient afterfill. 
And you can see from these graphs here also has some proven data as well. So um, it shows here in the first uh, graph, the skin barrier restoring. So it shows the transepidermal water loss values lower than um, physiological water and mild benchmark with unique moisturizing features. And in the second one here, you can see the sensitive skin targeting as well. So this glutamate shows uh, erythema index value lower than physiological water and mild benchmark. So it's ideal for sensitive skin applications as well. So two really good emulsifiers here, very beneficial. Um, both have hydration and moisturizing benefit as well as other ones. Now we're gonna add our oil phase on heat. Okay, so once my emulsifiers have melted and my oil phase is all homogenous, I'm gonna add this to my water phase now. Now I'm gonna give this a good mix and you can see that a really nice, beautiful emulsion has started to form here. So we're just gonna remove that one off the heat. So we're just gonna stir this to um, help it start cooling down and then we're gonna add our heat sensitive material. Okay, so now to add our heat sensitive materials, we have our uh, preservative here. Um, I've also got some aloe vera extract. So this is another thing that you could add for hydration or moisturization if you want it as an added extra. It's not an active, but it's a extract. A little bit of essential oil, and I'm just gonna add some antioxidant as well for my plant oils. Okay, so then we're just gonna check and adjust our final pH. And we're just gonna cover and let that sit overnight and check for any signs of instability. Okay, and here is what my lotion is looking like the next day. As you can see, that's thickened up quite a bit, but it's still lotion viscosity. It's nice and stable, it's nice and smooth and glossy is what we want. It's very long spreading, which is what we want. A little bit goes a long way. It feels absolutely beautiful on the skin, nice and soft, nice and emollient, and feels really moisturizing. Well, there you go. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.